Just sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip that started from this tropic port aboard this tiny ship. The mate was a mighty sailing man, the skipper brave and sure. Five passengers set sail that day for a three-hour tour. A three-hour... A lot by the rock and the psychic tacker. Tales from the three-hour tour. This trip started out innocently enough. Catching friends casually planning to combine forces for a milestone cash outing. Team Top Cat has had this cash on their radar for a while now and asked Linda and I if we would like to join them and skiff for the trip. We had set a nice late morning start time and the weather was great for early October. A cool start and warming up fast. Perfect for paddling. We got to the launch site and were pleasantly surprised to meet the co-hider of the cash, Mobile Beaks, who would also be escorting us on the three-hour tour. Skiffe had brought a kayak for Patrick and Rosie, a two-person yak. Now I'm not a fan of the two-person kayak. I'm too much of a control freak to share. I've got to be in control of my own destiny. Plus I'm not sure how our marriage would fare in such circumstances. But if that floats their boat pun intended, so be it. It is genuinely an easy paddle up the river. We paddled leisurely against the current chatting as we went. We cut off on a side branch of the river and got so involved in dabbing that we almost paddled right by the small and I mean small hole in the cocktails that would eventually lead us to our destination. After some quick instruction from Skiffe on paddling techniques used in tight quarters Linda and I took off in the lead. It took a few minutes to master our kayaks using the new paddling moves but we were soon moving right along. There was no doubt about where to go straight ahead. The cocktails are like a thick mat on either side of us. Although I was watching the GPSR, it was just a matter of time until the tight water trail lead us to the landing near the cache hide. No shortcuts here. We pulled our kayaks out of the water and made our way through the stinging nettles not bad really unless you don't know about them. We had seen the hiding spot from far away. But I wasn't prepared for how rickety it was. Regardless we climbed up and looked for our paddling companions. No sight of them. Soon we could hear but not see our paddling companions approaching. Well I guess I should say we could hear Patrick and Rosie. Soon they all came into sight and made their way to the landing spot. We helped them beach their yaks and we all walked back to the cache hiding spot. We had seen the cache but not retrieve it and Patrick grabbed it now and we all logged our visit. Rosie put it back nice job with magnet skip and we all talked for a while. Then it was time to go. I should have known things were going way too smoothly up to this point. It's called not Billigan's Island for a reason. It has the potential to be much worse. But still a lot of laughs. Being the nice guy I am I helped push off everyone in their kayaks. That's when I literally made a bad step, just one step too far. Into the nurse nana black mark. Once you've done it there is no going back. It's black buoy and it stinks. Bad. I washed off the goo the best I could while Skiff videoed me for posterity. What I didn't realize was that while I was having trouble so were Rosie and Patrick. Seems they couldn't get their kayak to go where they wanted to. And words were exchanged. From what I learned later it wasn't the first time on this trip. That explains why they took so long to catch up with us. We finally got all straightened out and on our way. Skiffe stopped laughing about my misstep. And Rosie and Patrick got their act together and were stroking like madmen. 
we paddled back to music from the 50s and 60s from the nearby car show. Everything seemed anticlimactic now. The trip back was fast. We should have taken more time to enjoy the sights and sound of the marsh, but for some reason there wasn't much wildlife to be seen. We beached our kayaks at the boat launch. Skiffen was kind enough to escort us to the nearby cache and give us some hints to make our find a little easier. Our thanks to Rosie and Patrick for setting up this milestone cache trip. And for providing half of the entertainment. Our thanks to Skiffe and Mobile Geeks for guiding us and for placing the cache. It was an adventure we will remember forever. And many thanks to Nurse Nana for leading the way into the mark. Dean Ampersand Linda aka. D Rock Ampersand the Psychic Cacker. O and Rosie and P-A-T-R-I-C-K-S-Log. Found will write more later.